The 2014 midterm elections are an important time for any political group on campus, for both the College Democrats and the College Republicans. The College Democrats have focused on the issues of student debt and equal pay for women. Hi, my name is Christopher. I'm the president of the NKU College Democrats. Uh, this year we're focusing a lot on um, the Allison Grimes campaign um, for a plethora of reasons, but most importantly is the refinancing of student loans. So the goal is that when you graduate from college, you're not in so much debt that you can't get a job, you uh, can't start a family, can't get a car, can't you know have that basic need, so you have money to get going. Um, that and equal pay for equal work. Women um, earn significantly less on the dollar than men. That is an issue that is just embarrassing, honestly. So that is one of the counter. That's one of the main points of her campaign. And then finally, uh, the, the, of the top three, I'd say, is raising the minimum wage to $10.10 .10 an hour, something that um, the government hasn't fully um, accounted for um, inflation for since, I think, believe the 70s. So. Some of the female members of College Democrats have become especially passionate about issues regarding women's pay. I think that people don't really know that that's an issue in general. Um, even a lot of women, like when I'm registering people to vote, I say, oh, um, women don't always get paid the same as men. It, the average is about 70 cents for every dollar that a man makes. Um, and even that fact in general, people just don't know that that's a thing. And when they hear it, especially women, obviously, they get mad about that. They want to make changes. Um, but I think that recognizing that if you are doing the same job as someone, you should be paid the same amount. Like, obviously, people that are working harder and things like that, there should be benefits for things like that. But if, if you're doing the same job, there's no reason that you should be like paid less just because of your, you're a woman. There's no reason that a woman should be treated less than a man in any situation. But the issues they feel hit closest to home are issues surrounding students' financial future. The cost of college is, is astronomical. It's, it's, it's not, I, I'd still believe that college is completely and totally attainable because of federal grants and everything. I, I myself am on full Pell Grant, which if funding were not allotted to that, I may not be in college right now or would be working over 40 hours a week just to be able to get by and wouldn't be able to spend the time doing the other things that I'm able to do, like College Democrats, in order to do that. So I think that the cost of college and, and financing college is one of the biggest things on the ticket right now. Stay tuned for the Northerners' coverage of the upcoming debate between the College Democrats and College Republicans at the end of October.